The Office of the National Security Partner with the Geneva Center for Security Sector Governance DCAF commands a five-day workshop focused on crafting a standard operating procedure for the Gambia's national security sector coordination model. This workshop aims to establish standardized response guidelines for national security activities, outlining key rules, responsibilities, and commands structured to boost coordination among security institutions. Head of DCAF office in Banjul, Ken Isaac, highlighted DCAF's commitment to enhancing security globally, emphasizing the organization's dedication to improving security and justice system effectively and accountably. Some of DCAF's achievements. DCAF supports the government of the Gambia with funding from the European Union includes key achievements such as the development of the national security sector coordination model in partnership with the ONS, developing the first police doctrine in partnership with the Gambia Police Force, developing a legal database in collaboration with the ONS and developing the Gambian uh, internal security policy in consultation with the Ministry of Interior and the Office of National Security. He expressed gratitude to the European Union for investing in Gambia's security sector reform project aiming to enhance security, migration and border management. DCAF is pleased to have assisted you in this process. The benefits of such a model include an alignment of resources, improve coordination among security institutions, effective connection of local, regional and national command structures, greater consistency in decision making and empowering decision makers with the information for the effective deployment of their resources. ISHAC emphasized that the standard operation procedure under the development will offer clear guidelines for rules and responsibilities, prevent duplications, ensure accountability, promote interagency cooperation, enhance crisis response, provide traceability, and allow flexibility among partners. National Security Advisor Abu Bakr Suleiman Jen acknowledged the diverse threats to the national security, necessitating a comprehensive approach for mitigation. Admittedly, the threats to national security are multidimensional and multifaceted, which requires holistic approach to mitigate. Further, it provides the applicable methodology for enhanced collaboration and coordination between security institutions and relevant stakeholders, including provision of information intelligence sharing on national security. He explained that the National Security Coordination Model aims to establish a framework ensuring Gambia's protection and optimal safety and securing service delivery to its citizens and residents. Jeng noted that the model has been developed and outlined the operation modalities. Minister of Defense Seri Murunjai said that this event organized by the Office of National Security in collaboration with DCAF and the various security institutions will help strengthen the capacity of the security sector and the need for collaboration, cooperation and partnership for the effective and efficient service delivery. A significant level of reform activity has been achieved in terms of capacity building and institutional development of the security services. The SRG is on course and the government is determined to carry the process to a logical end to achieve a well-defined security architecture for this country. He outlined that since the introduction of the security sector reform governance program in the Gambia in 2017, the government has continued to support the process which sets out the parameters necessary to enable the fulfillment of legitimate security functions through the forms restructuring institutional development. As we embark on this together, I encourage each of you to approach this workshop with an open mind and willingness to embrace change. Take advantages shared here, engage your college, ask questions, and also apply what you learned from this session he mentioned. Voting for Professor D. Tell I am Hazali Jad.